Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, January 4, 2017. Uh, RJ and I have been hard at work uh, stripping the bottom of this uh, 1959 17 foot Chris Craft Sportsman. We toothpicked everything as you saw in previous uh, videos, and then RJ has had the pleasure of toothpicking every one of these battens that go between the frames inside. So I'll hand it off to RJ and he can talk about what he's been doing and uh, also the balance of the cleaning he's had to do to prepare this boat for next steps. Go ahead RJ. Um, I started, I took all these battens out that go along the inside and they were pretty greasy and grimy even though we pressure washed the inside of the boat. They were still it was hard to get all the black goo and grease off them. So I took a pail of simple green and a scrub brush and scrubbed them all down and cleaned them off with a dry towel. And then I toothpicked them all. Here's an example of one that has toothpicks in it. Yep. Um, there's quite a few of them here, so there's quite a few toothpicks used. Uh, after the toothpicks and the glue, the glue is dried, I went through with a fine multi-tool and cut all the toothpicks off. Um, I still got a CPS at the bottom of these and maybe even the top. And then they'll be ready to install. Um, when I install them, I'm going to take a bead of 5200 and run it right down the, where the screws go through. and. One person will be inside and one person will be outside and the person inside will hold these up and I've countersunk and pre-drilled two screw holes in each of the battens so that we can have those mounted under there before we put the bottom planking down. That way the 5200 doesn't squeeze through and make a giant mess. Um, and I also did that with the uh, blocks. These blocks are for the bottom boards where there's a joint in the board. That's your sister block basically for the butt joint of boards. And those will be CPS and installed in 5200 also. And uh, once those are installed, I will CPS the whole bottom down to the water line. I gotta do some more sanding on the sides here, but the bottom's already for CPS. Um, and over here, there's some more stuff that I've been cleaning up and working on. Where, where does this go? This is between the this helm is station? This the back of the front seats. Yeah. And it goes crossways. It's a lot of support for the boat. Um, but it was a We've always had a real challenge working around those inside of the boat as far as finishing off the inside of the boat and finishing off this. Um, this boat, the deck board's actually stopped and this didn't run into the gunnel. So it wasn't a real big hassle to right. release the, this out of this boat. And it'll make it a lot easier for us to finish this up and get it installed in the boat. And then it'll be ready for varnish. But, well, we release the stringers out of the vault to clean underneath them, make that a lot easier, and so that we could clean up the stringers a lot easier. Yesterday I sat with my pail and a scrub brush and scrubbed them and scrubbed them and flipped them and Boy, the bottoms. They're nice and clean now. They're all ready for whatever we put on them. All these pieces were, this piece is really, really bad with grease and oil. Well, it may be worth refabricating that piece. And the motor mounts, I scrubbed and scrubbed those and got those pretty clean. These are the gas tank straps. I'll probably uh, bead blast these, get them all clean, and then paint them. So that rust any more than they have and uh, 
I have the steering shaft and the shifter shaft left to scrub up and paint and pretty much most of these parts are ready to be installed. Yeah. We also have to uh, scrape the back side of the um, bottom planking, right? Yes. Yeah. And the good news is that the bottom planking is really in excellent condition and all of it will be saved. Uh, this is just one bundle. We have several bundles, but... Uh, right here you can see yeah. it's kind of oily and with a scraper you could really get that a lot cleaner than what it is. That's right. Once we clean that, of course, we will CPES the inside, the edges, and once we uh, have the whole bottom put back together, the bottom will also receive three coats of CPES. So that's an update on the 1959 17-foot Chris Craft Sportsman on January 4th, 2017. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.